Okay, I'm on my back door. Now when I first moved in, there was nothing to stop this from just moving back and forth and flapping around in the breeze. There wasn't any stops or anything else. There was a string tied to that hook there, which was hooked to the handle. But it was the sorriest looking bit of string you ever did see. That was no good. So I added this stop. So it wouldn't move any further, any further this way. And this catch to hold it open. So it's a nice hot day, I could have the door open and it'd be nice and cool. Now of course I don't have to bend down every time to unlock this. So I made this extension piece which pushes on the catch. And that's attached to this rod. And it's attached to this and attached to this handle. So I can close the door, unlock it, and that works brilliantly. Now what I want to do is be able to open it from indoors without having to step outside in case it's raining or whatever. So I'm going to build a lever which attaches to this here, runs across here to some mechanism here, so that when I'm indoors I can unlock it from something here. Now I'm thinking something like this. Mount it to the back, like that, and I can push that down, which will unlock the catch that way. So that's what I'm going to build next. Okay, now I've made this, which will go on the hill, and that'll be glued in place. And I've got this, which goes here, like that. So when I move this, that will push on a little lever which I'm going to attach to there, a little rod that goes across. That will turn this and that will move that axle underneath there. So that's what I'm making in the next video. Okay, here's some of the parts I made. So, this is that part. That's going to be attached that way up. There's going to be this attaching to the handle which is already there. And then these will go across like that. So my next video will be assembling all of that and adding more bits. I've got this other cam here for example which attaches to the bottom. And that's going to glue in place. And the whole thing I've coated in epoxy to seal it it's going to be outdoors. And it's plywood which will just swell up and then fall apart otherwise. So. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll show you that. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.